got some good competition out there. They're flying around here. Right into the wall with a double beam. Good contact right front with a 47. Jacob Mallory from Granville, a good hit right up here in the front. He's checking stuff out. Oh, way to let up and not hit that driver's side door. That was a good move. Don't be on the naughty list. 363. <laughs> That's a big guy jumping around in there. That was a pretty good hit for the 363. Pretty 
pretty good out there. It's got the GoPro going on. Somebody's got some squeaky brakes. Chris Duffney from Saratoga and the 7 Eleven is doing well. Somebody's got to have some sort of game plan here. 7-Eleven isn't afraid to hit him head on. No, sir. Uh-oh, one of them big fancy front tires is going down. There it is. Boom! Look at that. Johnny on the spot. Fire department's out there. We're stretching lines. We've got some tools coming out. Hey, no problem. Fireman right on the scene. Yeah, 48 is safe. 7-Eleven still going. The 363, I bet, still going. So, yep, we can see that from here. I'm not sure if you folks can see it from there, but that car was getting hot. Drivers, in your cars that are dead, now's the time to get out if you'd like to bail. So we got the fire out on the 48. We'll figure out what we're going to do with that. If they're going to try to refire it or nope, they're cutting the chain off it. Want to have a look? Jimmy Stein taking a couple whacks at it with the axe. Nobody's watching, Jim. Nobody's watching. Oh. All right. So we got a hose line stretch. It was a small fire. It wasn't anything crazy. It looked like it was right there by the tire. So uh, we just want to check and make sure it doesn't get going again. And uh, we'll get them fired up and come up. So I'm going to guess that that 48, uh, unless it'll fire again, we'll figure out what we're going to do with it. I don't want to rule them out because um, that's a lot of money out there that they're mashing into each other for. So the 363 is right here in the front. Seems to be still going, doing a fine job out there. And we had the 48. Everybody else seemed to be clocked out. So Daryl Rassum in the 48, Chris Duffney in the 711, and Eric Thompson from Rock City Falls in the 363. The 363 is just a little bit shorter than it was when it started. So it looks like the 48, he's going to crawl in. Maybe he can get her fired up. I'm, I'm sure he's not in there trying to pop the hood right now so they could take a look. I can't imagine that's going to work too good. So we'll have a look. Get fired up. She's ready to go, boys and girls. Give her a round of applause. 
Word on the street is if that catches on fire again, we're going to have to DQ them, but we'll see. But it fired up. We'll get the firemen cleared. And we'll get all three of these cars. And they're all right here in the center, which is great. No hiding, no running. 48s in the 7-Eleven. And the 363. We'll get these firemen, get the hose pulled back, ready to deploy again. Got some water cans out there. Set of irons. All right. Nice job once again by the firemen. All right, firemen and officials going back over the wall. John Hogan's still awake down there, Bob. All right, he's got the actions right here, man. All the drivers that wanted to bail have bailed, so. Uh, Let's go. Looks to me like uh, we got just about everybody ready. We'll wait for the track officials. We've got two of them right here in the front. Wait for the superintendent to come around and let us know that we're ready to go. We'll let you know what's going on. We can get these cars fired up. <laughs> All right, we're just getting something sorted out, out in the pits right now, but it looks like the track is clear and ready to go so I know you folks are ready to go and so are we so we'll be uh, figuring out what's going on right here and we'll get these three cars fired up in the second medium car heat second of six that we have going on so just for the rules uh, I don't believe any of these three cars are on the clock I believe these are our three so Two of them out there are running for money. Two of them out there are going to be running for money. And somebody's going to be kicked out of the money. And uh, hopefully all three of them will be able to fire up so we have good competition. competitive hit from the 363 time might not have been on their side this little bit of a delay the 363 was the last of the competitive vehicles and we're gonna call it we're gonna call this heat 363, Eric Thompson from Rock City Falls is your clear and distinct first place winner. And Meatball's going to let us know out of the 7-Eleven and the 48 who made the last competitive hit. And we'll figure it out for second place. <laughs> 7-Eleven, 48, please come up here and see me. Ah, oh, horseshit. Never mind. We got a clear winner, 363 Eric Thompson and 711 to 48 are gonna split second place. They're gonna split second place. So we got